Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you a reading in regards to messages from your person. This is for the zodiac sign of Cancer for the month of July, year 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, or subscriber, welcome, welcome back. I'm sending you so much love, light, joy, and blessings as well. And always, if you are a cross watcher, please do come in, have a seat, join us, pull up, relax. I'm sending you love and light and blessings too for you and for everybody because you guys are awesome as well and we enjoy you and I hope you guys enjoy the reading. If you guys need to know any information about me, please read the description box below. If you like the video, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing and I do appreciate all of you. There will be an extended reading connected to this reading at the end. So look at the description box at the top left. I'm going to try to put it at the top where you guys can find it real quick. Should be juicy. So in the extension or extended reading, I'm going to address what's to happen next in this connection with this person, what's next in love with or without this person. So like a future love and love lessons that you could take with you for life. So get in where you fit in. And I appreciate anybody who decides to purchase that. All right, let's jump right in. Cancer, everything has been prayed on and meditated on. I just want to say I'm going to use Mystic V's official unofficial messages. Shout out. To Mystic Beauty, I enjoy using these cards. You guys seem to love them. The first time I used them, everybody went wild in the readings. I got my most views from using this deck. So you guys are awesome. It's very fun. It's very deep. This deck is everything that she is. So it's just awesome. I love this deck. It's fun. And um, I was real lucky to get it because it sells out a lot. And I actually was able to get in where I fit in. And I was able to get it. And it's been a really cool experience ever since I have a lot of fun with this deck. But the messages are real like i said they could get real deep at times sometimes the messages are funny it's everything that she is it's just really awesome so and shout out to her channel if you know her channel or you watched her she is beyond incredible she's awesome all right let's begin so i am going to start with the bottom of the deck cancer your person wants you to know that they communicate with you through musica through music so a lot of you used to listen to music together. I'm hearing also movies. So they may be watching the movies that you guys used to watch or listen to music. It just reminds them of the times that you guys spent together in the car or if you guys went on long drives, if you guys um, downloaded certain songs for each other or bought certain albums at a store. If you guys still do that, a lot of people just buy online and you guys have so many different ways of you know downloading music, So, which is awesome. So maybe they made a playlist or you made a playlist for them, but they're listening to music and songs are highly reminding them of you and your time together and movies. I keep hearing movies. So I thought one was, I could have sworn I was thinking of a movie when I saw this, um, this car, but I can't think of a particular movie. I'm hearing movies. So you guys may have enjoyed like going to the movies or watching movies together, or you guys have a favorite together or your favorite movie, they're like watching your stuff. They, they're watching what you like. They're looking it up, even if it's like old, like 90s old, 80s old, or even older than that. But I feel like they are connected to your movies, the movies that you love. This is how they're learning you or learning about you and music, definitely. So very interesting. So some of this, these people I'm hearing, they're not good at communicating because I'm really stumbling a little bit right here. And it's like music helps them to say what they're feeling and now it's like they're turning to music and movies or you may really love music maybe some of your musicians or they are you know never ever force a reading just take what resonates for you you could flip it switch it reverse it insert yourself where you fit in but never ever force it but um music is is um significant to this person and to you or, or both of you it's in your reading that's heavy because that's at the bottom of the deck so that's overall energy so they're listening to a ton of music they're watching a lot of movies or something that reminds them of the connection with you or of you your first card is our separation still affects me i've seen this card a bunch of times when i was pre-shuffling and it came out so i kept it your separation is very bothersome for, for this person because they don't know what really to say is what I'm hearing. They really don't know what to say or to do at this point. They might even need your guidance, but I feel like you had to step away from this person and let them have some 
time alone in solitude to gather themselves and get themselves together. It's like they don't know what's next. They don't know to call you. They don't know where to reach out or should they text or they don't want to make a mistake next. That's what I'm hearing. Like they're walking on eggshells because being away from you, I'm hearing the word detrimental somehow. It's like it's super hurtful for them. Like you were safe for them. You were secure. You make them feel good, feel happy. This was a deep connection, very deep. Okay, this feels real spiritual to me. But they don't like being apart from you and it bothers them because they know that they're at fault. Whoever's at fault, it could be you, but take it how it resonates. I feel like for the most of you, this is your person. But, you know, take accountability if it's yours. But I am feeling like somebody is affected that you guys don't talk, that you guys are not meeting up, you're not hanging out. Like somebody just truly severed ties. And you've had to. You have to do what you have to do for you, for your own peace, your own sanity. So they are truly asking, what the hell? Like, what the hell did I do? What did I do wrong? How could I have lost this person? How could I have hurt this person or treated this person like everybody else? Why didn't I step my game up? Why didn't I do better? Why didn't I just tell the truth? And if I didn't know something, I should have said that. Like, somebody's like, I should have just said the truth. I just, I should have been real. Like, I'm really starting to, like, fumble a lot of my words. Like, sometimes us readers, we get so many messages in various ways. We try to, like, speak sometimes to keep up, and we can't keep up. So we got to sit back in the pocket sometime and just make sense of it real quick. But this person is this person. Spirit's like, no, it's not you. It's them. So it's this person. They are truly lost. They don't know what to do. They feel like you protected your heart away from them, and that was the right thing to do. A lot of them won't admit that. They may in the future. But um, they know that you you did the right thing or underneath it all. And see here, I know you deserve more. See, they know you deserve better. Some of them have told you that you deserve better than me. You could get somebody way better than me. Look at you. You're awesome. You're amazing. You're so accomplished. You're, um, you're well endowed. Um you are special. You do a lot of things very well. People are attracted to your light. And it's like, they know you deserve more than what they gave. So your person wants you to know they get it. They know how wonderful you are, Cancer. And they feel like they let you down, like they failed you in a sense. You're just like a spiritual train and you're just like, choo -choo 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 -choo. you're like going and going. And it's like, this person was really blocking you from like elevating they were slowing you down interesting it's like you want to explore the world you want to get to know the people that's supposed to be in your life you want to be with the people that's making magic happen you want to be with people that's praying and elevating and finding out what's necessary and digging into the core of life into your life and it's like this person just wasn't there they were on a low vibration. They were dealing with a lot. You may have come into this person's life when they was going through a separation of their own, a divorce or some type of major event happened when you were brought back into this person's life or, or into it. Because some of you know, knew this person before or from past life. Either way, when you guys met up, major things, shifts were happening in both of your lives is what I'm hearing. See, for you, you chose to spiritually grow. So you grew past this person around and away from them. You couldn't let them hold you back. But they're just not catching up to what spiritual growth is. It's more than just praying. It begins there. But it's making sure that you implement best practices into those prayers and changes. And that the plans you talk about with God, you're actually employing yourself and getting it done and achieving those goals and plans and ideas and tasks and getting it all done and you could feel yourself when you spiritually grow that's connecting more with your spirit guides connecting with your angels your loved ones on the other sides have messages seeing them sensing them knowing them like you're tapping into all of your senses and then spirit on top of that people who spiritually are growing they feel it they know it they know their signs they get even more they get faster at determining what things mean. They have a greater understanding and comprehension of life. You may have tried to tell this person about 
God and spirit and spiritual experiences, they, <laughs> I'm hearing they're so childish that they couldn't connect to what you were saying. You've seen the future of your life. Some of you maybe even seen your own kids that are unborn or kids that, God forbid, didn't make it into this side of the world or not yet. Some of you have communicated with the other side, with your angels and your guides and your ancestors or loved ones who hug you and um, give you affection or tell you different things. Some of you are connected with, you know, celebrities. A lot of you have connected with God. God speaks to you. Jesus hears you and hears your prayers and spirit, your whole spiritual team got you. They're answering prayers. Your person may not have been on that level of spiritual connection, ascension and awareness. Part of your job, Cancer, was to bring this out of them and help them to elevate. Now, you take the role as it fits for you because, of course, it could be reversed. But somebody in this connection was not spiritually on a high level when the other person came in. The other person came in to help propel the spiritual growth and development, this process, this amazing, beautiful, awesome, immaculate, blessed celestial process it was supposed to happen and take place which is why i'm feeling like this is a soulmate connection or twin flame this is heavy soul tie of like the highest level feels like twin flame so i feel like a lot of you took the time apart to grow spiritually to get closer with god and your guides and your angels a lot of you have seen angels and you're able to talk to them and you're inviting and including them into your everyday life which is so important this is good. I mean, this is helping you see yourself so that you can be the best you and better yourself and improve yourself. A lot of you went into deep contemplation about your past and any experiences that were good and bad so that you could look at the lesson in everything. When you reflect on lessons, it's to improve yourself so that you don't have to repeat that lesson with the next relationship or commitment or friendship or whatever type of situation you're dealing with is to be better so that you don't have to repeat anything bad or toxic or you know repeat an error again so a lot of you are revisiting the past that's that's how you grow that's one of the ways you grow you're wondering why it wasn't a success what you could have done better some of you took this time away from this person to travel in your mind and physically you needed a getaway, a staycation, a vacation. Some of you have a job somewhere else, maybe even abroad. You had to learn to embrace new opportunities no matter who's in your life. That's part of the lesson, to love yourself even more, especially when people are not reciprocating that love that you need and deserve. The world is open, and that means we have so many wonderful things to do and achieve. You're very intelligent, Cancer. And you're very creative. You have some major projects that you want to get done. I feel like a lot of you focused on those projects. And you were able to like get your business off the ground and really launch things. Or really start something. It could be as simple as a garden. But I feel like you guys started something that you, you see it growing. You put a lot of time, effort, and energy into it. Like you made a goal and you, you took the steps to reach it and achieve it. Congratulations for those of you who actually did the work. Because it's never easy, but it's like the more you did the work, the more you were inspired to come up with the next step or the next level, the next plan to add to it. You embraced this new creative idea and went full on with it. You're going to celebrate from it. It's going to prosper and flourish. Spirit helped lead you down this path. Your person is jealous. Because they watch you. They're hearing things about you. Great things. They see that you're being successful. Anything that you said you was going to do, you're doing it. If you wanted to write a book, learn a new skill, complete a course, go back to school, whatever it is that you wanted to do, you are about your life. You got it done. Or you are in the process of doing it. And it's taken off. It's taken flight. Your person is very jealous. Because now you can date whoever you want. And you get into the money. You focus on that bag. And that bag is starting to grow. Things are really happening for you. I'm seeing success. Your person is truly jealous. Because you have embraced spirit. 
and you found yourself. You're not being a fool. But you are taking leaps and steps of faith to achieve your own desires and your own wants. This is beautiful. Like, you know what you want. This is fabulous. I love it. And they're jealous because you don't need them to get it. And they know it. They know you will be happy if you're in their life or if you're not. And your person does wish you well, but your person definitely has options. And they will have a lot more because of who they are, how they carry themselves with a lot of class and sophistication. A loving person will always be loved. They will always attract negative people and good ones. A lot of people, like your person... Your person uh, is jealous because you're going to always attract a lot of people. People love your energy. Not only are you highly attractive, you attract other people energetically. A lot of you have a lot of skills and talents and people notice that about you. Somebody may really love to fish. I'm seeing fish. Or you're expecting kids. Or money. Money could be coming to you. I'm saying you celebrating something because you were motivated to get it done. So your person could be jealous that um, that life is happening for you. Things are working out. I mean, you're ready to celebrate and be happy. You have some projects that are on the move. You're climbing like you should. And they know you both should have been climbing together. It should have been a partnership. They messed it up. But your person wants you to know they are healing. You've helped force them to heal. They know they have a lot of work to do on themselves. And you help push this out of them. You help them to see that, hey, to be with me and to go where I'm going, it has to be a team effort. But if you're not on the team, then I could be the team by myself. So you helped your person to see like, they needed to heal. Or you will just move on and be at your best without them in your life. You want a real relationship, something that's substantial, something that's, you know, secure and it's going to last. They have to come to you healed. Because you can't do the low vibration. It's, it's killing you. It's taken away from your, um, your happiness and your joy. It drains your energy. Usually you feel upbeat and happy. You get around the wrong person. It's like, you know, everything looks sad or everything's bad. Or, you know, you can't even find a reason to smile around this person. Or they just pull your energy down or in so many different directions to where you're drained after dealing with them. Nobody should be this drained after dealing with somebody that you love, that you're committed to, or that you want to be committed to. Some of you couldn't even get into a commitment with, with this person because they were so broken. They weren't even ready. They didn't even deserve you as like a boyfriend or girlfriend or even a spouse. They couldn't even be a friend. They didn't take action like they should have. Some of them tried to lead with um, sexual favors or advances and you were not feeling it. It was too soon. It was too fast. It's like, whoa, you guys need to go on dates first. They were out of order. That's what I'm hearing. And they were still connected to a past relationship that they really haven't closed out yet. Yeah, they were still linked to something or somebody. Something toxic, something that didn't work, something that caused them a lot of heartache, heartbreak, and pain. Lots of emotional trauma there. This person, your person is very smart. They're very intelligent and knowledgeable. And spiritual. But sometimes they get real goofy and they go back to their lower self. You can't tolerate that pettiness and you're not going to. Your person definitely has a lot of things that they have to tend to. We all do. When I see this card about too many responsibilities, we all have too many responsibilities. But when you are creating more responsibilities, and this is what your person was doing. They were running these streets with this one and that one and him and her. 
and they got this to do and they always got to be here and they got to be there and they might get you in they might feel you in they might get to you they may not no ain't nobody trying to be an option it's like no you need it to be a priority and you need to feel that way and you wasn't asking for every second of the day with them you wasn't asking for all of their attention you were asking for what was fair and what was right they couldn't even offer it is what i'm getting they couldn't even offer it a lot of them were talkers but they weren't doers they did not go through with anything that they said it was rare you got tired of them being so inconsistent and full of themselves too many responsibilities then they need to go figure that out and work that out and maybe if you even feel like entertaining them maybe then you can start something But this person has to go in order. They have to communicate and ask for a date if that's what they want and discuss things about themselves that they weren't willing to talk about. They didn't want to go too deep. They like the romance part and the honeymoon phase. But they had a lot of responsibilities. There's a lot of things they needed to take care of. Some things need to be completed and organized before you come into somebody else's life. There's kids in the situation. There's families here. You know, we were talking about adults who have, we all have responsibilities. That's not an excuse to mistreat somebody. That's not an excuse to ghost somebody. Some of you definitely were ghosted. A lot of you were ghosted too many times. And you just said, oh, they, you know, they apologize and come back, apologize and come back. And you'd forgive and, you know, you dusted it under the rug, kept it moving. But that last time was the last time. You were like, no, I'm putting my foot down. I'm standing my ground on this one. This person is doing too much and it's looking sneaky. You had a good time when you guys were together. But when you were apart, you had a huge question mark of what is really going on with this person. What are they hiding? It started to feel like they're hiding things. And yes, they are hiding things. Some of them is responsibilities. Somebody may have had a child on the way or had a question about if the child on the way was even theirs. These are not questions you should have to ask. These are the type of things that they needed to discuss or have taken care of. It's not that hard to go get a blood paternity test for a, a child that's born. Now, if the child is unborn, what they should have said is, this is my situation. This is what I'm dealing with. They should have kept you in on the loop. A lot of you, you wouldn't have liked it, but you would have felt more like you could trust this person if they would have came correct with honesty and led with the truth. It says staying away from you is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Right, but it was necessary. They don't like being apart from you. Their separation is not something that they wanted, but they couldn't have their cake and eat it too. I said this in another reading. The bakery is with the right person. So if you want your cake from 10 different houses, and eat it for 10 more different houses, that's up to them. But a slice will run out while the bakery will have plenty and make more. Somebody definitely had player energy and they should have chosen to leave that player mentality alone. Now, if you wanna be a player and be for the streets, stay there, stay in your lane. Don't mix in with somebody who you know is loyal, conservative, honest. You can't have both unless you find somebody willing to live that life. If not, it is going to fall and crash down. They don't like being apart from you. They don't like that you had to cut off your energy. They don't like it. But I do feel like they know it was warranted. It was necessary. It was necessarily needed. So now they watch you from afar, like on social media. They're watching you. They think about you every day, all the time. And they see that you are in the spotlight. Like a lot of you have your own channels. You're your own um, psychics or you guys have tarot card channels and businesses. Like they're hearing about, you know, products. You're making candles or stickers or cards. I mean, t-shirts, clothes, shoes. I mean, they're seeing you guys make moves in these streets. They are watching you. And they feel left behind. They feel far behind. Even though this person, I feel like a lot of these people are successful or they have their own jobs and careers. But what you're doing is unique. A lot of you have become your own bosses or you have your own little side thing and it's doing well or it's about to take off. 
like you enjoy what you're doing in life and they're watching. Some of you talked about what you were going to be doing. So like, let's say, for example, you told a person that you're going to start a business or an online shop or something like that. And now you have it. The time apart from this person gave you that time to have it. Because if you would have still been chasing after this person, which is what they did, they reversed the roles. The runner became the chaser, the chaser became the runner, and then you were like, I'm not chasing and I'm not running. I'm surrendering to God, period. So now it's like, all they can do is watch you from afar. So they're remembering, like, you, that person, you, you told me that you was going to do this. Some of them didn't have faith in you. Like, they knew you were intelligent and smart and strong-minded. They knew you were capable and confident. But it's almost like, the jealousy comes in, oh, excuse me, I'm about to knock over my candle. The jealousy comes in with you are somebody that make it happen. I keep hearing you don't need them. They know that. You wanted them though. That's a turn on really that you don't need them, but they're also jealous because it's like you're good or you will find a way to be good. Whether they are around or talking to you or a friend or not, or romantic interest or not. You're being real graceful with how you move. So cancer, they want you to know that they never meant to hurt you. You're one person they did not want to hurt. But they know that they did. They know they hurt you. Really bad. And I feel like spirit flipped the script and is making them feel what they did to you and that makes them feel even worse they feel bad they feel low a lot of them do feel guilty because you were a pleasure to be around you're not the one to hurt you're not the one to game or to play with they shouldn't be doing this to nobody nobody should be living a life where somebody's playing them but especially those souls who are very good those amazing, wonderful sweethearts out there like you, Cancer. You deserve somebody who was kind and awesome to you. Somebody who was there for you. Who gave you meaningful conversations and a listening ear and a patient heart and respect, honor, and loyalty. You deserve that. Somebody didn't give you the effort that you deserved. But they kept, I'm getting like stringing you along. They would gaslight you or tell you that Oh, you're this, you're wonderful, and you are. And I'm going to do this, and we're going to have that. But they didn't show you enough love. They knew you were dependable. They knew you were somebody that they can trust. You're trustworthy. You're somebody that they could be intimate with. But too many of them led with the sexual energy because they were looking for healing. And too many people go the route of sexual healing. That's what this person did. Some of them became friends with benefits. That's not what you wanted. Or they tried that. They didn't appreciate love. They didn't appreciate you or your love. And now this person's karma is to miss you. To desire you. To want you even more than before. And to be jealous. Because you can go be with whoever you want. You have a great heart. A strong mind. Friends love you. You will have romance. They want you to know you're the last person on their mind before they fall asleep. Absolutely. They think about you often. They dream you. That's where they get to communicate with you and connect with you. But a lot of you energetically block them. So they don't get to do that for long. I feel like if it's, if it's, it feels short to me. Like a lot of you will wake up instantly or you'll turn them away or turn your mind off from them. They can't help but think about you. They wonder what you're doing. Are you smiling right now? Are you happy? Are you asleep? They want to know, should I call you right now? Would you even answer? I'm hearing some of them want to write you like a romantic song or a poem. They want to watch a movie with you next to you, like in bed. They want to fall asleep next to you. They miss you. They truly miss you. So a lot of times before they go to bed, they'll um, listen to music. Like I'm hearing a lot of love songs, but like sad ones.
I'm hearing another sad love song by Tony Braxton. Somebody may really love Tony Braxton. Or like a lot of slow love songs. Especially from like the 90s. Okay, Cancer. This has been your reading for the month of July, year 2021, in regards to messages from your person. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys help my channel to grow, and I can't do it without. You guys are amazing and awesome. If you guys want to know more about this connection and situation, please go ahead and click on the link below. The extended is there. We're going to see what's going to happen next in this connection, what's next in love for you, and some love lessons that you can take with you for life going forward. Okay, you guys are awesome. I wish you happiness, love, infinite joy, blessings, and abundance. You guys rock. Much love and light. Bye, Cancer.